If yours is like most websites, more than 40% of your traffic now comes from mobile devices. And if your site is designed for local consumers, that number could easily double. Google estimates more than 2 billion searches originate from mobile devices every month, yet only a fraction of that content is easily accessible by a mobile device. What happens if your site comes up number one, but the content is not properly formatted? Your visitor moves on to the competitor. It's that simple. So with that in mind, here are three tips for retaining and engaging those accessing your site from a mobile device. Number one, know what content people are looking for when accessing your site from a phone or a tablet. Design your navigation to lead your visitor to the information that they're looking for as easily as possible. In the case of the Center for Civil and Human Rights, the most important content is represented at the top of the page. The mobile view of this site displays the same navigation while hiding content deemed less important to mobile users. For this client, ticketing, directions, and parking, and a detailed description of each exhibit one encounters when, in, when touring the facility is the most important. Now, if you're a theater owner, directions, showtime, and ticketing is probably most important. If you're a restaurateur, chances are people are looking for your menu, phone number, and directions. If you're not sure what content is most important to your visitors, simply check your analytics or simply ask your visitors. Number two, small devices need bigger content and buttons. If your mobile site is adaptive, that is, you have a special version of your site designed for mobile users, it's easy to make sure that the size of your controls make it easy to push a button or play a movie. But if your site is responsive, take care to scale your content and controls so as not to make it difficult on your visitors. Buttons need to be large enough and have enough distance between them to make navigation easy. Number three, now this might seem obvious, but make sure your content loads quickly and efficiently. Optimize your graphics to load as fast as possible at the best quality required for your audience. Flash and mobile devices simply don't get along, period. If your site relies on video and animation, convert it to HTML5 to assure it can be seen by everyone. If you have a large site with lots of detailed information, consider creating an adaptive rather than responsive version of your website so you can pick and choose which content to display and what content to hide in order to assure your mobile visitors only see what they need. If you do use an adaptive site, be sure to include a link to your full site just in case someone wants it. Now, if you follow these three steps in delivering content to your visitors on a smartphone or a tablet, I promise you your visitor satisfaction and the effectiveness of your website will soar.